If you do an hour and a half run, you get one spike of HGH. If you do two 45 minute runs, you get two spikes of HGH. We are talking today about doubles, running doubles in your training. We're gonna talk about the benefits of them. And then we're gonna go into uh, examples, kind of like stories about who runs doubles. And then I'm gonna go a little bit on the edge here. And we're gonna talk about the health, the holistic and the spiritual component of doing this. One, two, three, just like that. So doubles are for the runner who's already running a frequency that is at least five days per week and really six or seven because kind of the average runner is kind of going out there three days per week maybe and they're doing a tempo run, interval run, long run. So to run a double doesn't even make sense because they're not even running seven days per week or six or five days per week. So if you're only running three days per week, it's not about running a double. It's not that doing it double is special. It's that running more is special. So don't consider running doubles unless you're already running five to really six days per week. And under that, just focus on doing what you're doing and adding in more days. But if you are, and most of you are, then we want to talk about doubles. Now, a double does not mean that you run more. Sounds like it. Run twice means run more. Nope. That's the mistake that most people who haven't really thought about it make. If I run twice in a day, well, I'm going to run twice as far. And no, you can run the same amount, same amount of miles that you're normally doing, but done through doubles. And if you do it that way, you're actually taking your injury risk and you're cutting it way down. Because instead of a 10 mile run every day, you're doing two five mile runs in a day. And are you more or less likely to get injured in a 10 mile run or a five mile run? What do you think? It's kind of obvious, right? The five mile, and we're just doing that twice. So it's as if you went out on a 10 mile run, stopped in the middle of it, took a break, took a shower, ate lunch, had a couple snacks, stretched it out, waited eight hours, and then did the second half of that run. That's all the double is. So it actually decreases your injury risk, but it's also a really good way to get your miles up really quickly. Because instead of adding, if you're going three days per week or six days per week, in order to get your miles up, you have to add you know, one mile, two miles per run. And it starts to feel like that shakeout five mile run that I'm used to is now seven miles. Yikes. It starts to like be a little bit more intimidating. But when you run a double, you get to add a very small amount of running to any given run and it kind of accumulates. Let's say you're running 10 times per week. Okay. If you just add 800 meters to your warm up on every run, you got five more miles in a week. You do that for like two weeks in a row, you got 10 more miles and 10 miles extra in a week that's kind of significant, isn't it? It makes us feel like we're running more and we are. And that's just adding 800 meters to a warm up for one week and then doing it again the next week, maybe 800 meters to the cool down the next week. And there you go, 10 miles, simply because you're doing it high frequency. So it's a very easy way to get your miles way up. And in fact, if you're running certainly 70 miles per week, but you can make a good argument for like 50 to 60, um, but definitely at 70, which would average about 10 miles per day. Once you hit that range, so I'm going to tell you guys here, if you're in the range of like 55 to 70, anywhere in that range, then you really do want to consider some doubles because a 10 mile run in itself is about the amount that I think anybody like can really be running and keeping it easy. If Even if you're really fit. Once you get to a half marathon or so, it, it could still be easy if you're really fit and your mileage is high, but it's like, eh, it's kind of pushing it. So once we get to 50 to 70 miles per week, adding doubles is a great way to increase your training volume with decreasing your injury risk. And here's the other one is you get more of an exposure to running. As you run more, there's other things that happen. We talk about HGH, human growth hormone. Now you get that secreted as a response to doing exercise and then going to sleep and stop eating and then going to sleep. And then your body goes into assimilation, recovery mode, and you'll secrete this HGH, human growth hormone, in order to partially like recover and things like this. But you get it in response to the exercise that you do. And it goes up in a spike of, I believe it's like 30 minutes or so, 30 to 60 minutes, somewhere in that range of exercise is gonna give you a really good response of HGH secretion later on. So if you do an hour and a half run, you get one spike of HGH. If you do two 45 minute runs, you get two spikes of HGH. You have a, not only a lower injury risk because of what we already talked about, but you have better recovery because you're signaling to your body all sorts of things. You're signaling to your body that you're serious about this. You're going to keep running. You're not running on an average like every 50 hours. You're running every 12 hours or whatever it is. So you signal to your body that this mofo is going to be running a lot, multiple times in a day and we have to learn to recover faster. And so that brings me to our first story here. I'm gonna go through a, a couple of 
just examples of people who you may already know of. We're going to talk about Kelvin Kiptum as well. So stay tuned for that. Uh, first, I'll tell you a little bit about my experience with this. I'm currently running every single day. I'm on day 80. No, I'm on day 90 or, or 91 or something like that right now of running every single day and running doubles about half of those days. My fitness is, I think, pretty good. I'm going to run this 100 mile race and I guess we'll see. We'll test it there. But I feel pretty good. But it's not just me. I don't want you to just follow me. I want you to follow what other runners are doing too. So one of my favorite runners, Michael Arnstein, who's an ultra runner and he eats only raw fruit. You've read about him in the book. Now this guy runs twice a day. He gets up, he runs to work, 15 miles, runs home, 15 miles, 30 miles, that's 31 miles for him every single day. And then on the weekends, 50 miles, okay? Now trying to run 30 miles at one time every day is gonna be maybe exhausting, but 15 and 15 for him, ah, it's doable. But he's an ultra runner. He's also a very fast marathoner, low 220 marathoner. Now I'm gonna bring it back to some other runners that you, even some of you right here. Here's another example, Kelvin Kiptum. He just set the world record in Chicago, amazing runner. And he's training about uh, 180 miles per week, which is quite a bit. And he's running not just twice a day, but three times on many days. So again, it's not about running doubles. It's just about running more frequently. So if you're not, like I say, at the beginning, but we'll repeat this because this is important. If you're not already running maybe six days per week, just focus on getting that frequency up. Nice and easy. We don't want to burn you out. You should be running these extra runs. Easy, very easy. Very, maybe not even any strides or anything, just easy. So Kiptum, he's running two or three times per day because that's like, he's, I mean, what is the, what's the math on that? It's like 22, 25, whatever, something like that. Low 20 miles per day, every single day. It's a lot. So he has to break it up into three to keep it easy because running a marathon every single day might not be feasible for him. So you have me, you have ultra runners, you have the fastest marathoner in history. What about you guys? Um, one of our running leaders, Talib, who's out in Qatar right now, uh, we just talked and he, his performance is getting better and better and better and better. And he's a 10K runner. His frequency has gone way up. He's doing a lot of doubles and his performance is way up. He's running really fast, setting some PRs before he's even done his race, which is going to be the peak race is going to be like later this winter. So it works for the 10K as well. Hmm. Okay. So what do we see when we look at if you have have the run elite book, I break down a full training block of two elite marathoners in there, Moses Mosop, Abel Karoui. And when you look at their training, what are they doing? Well, doubles probably five days per week. The only days that aren't doubles are long runs and maybe like the occasional just single run just because. But they run doubles most every day with most of them being easy. Okay, so you have me, you have ultra runners, you have marathoners, you have 10K runners, you have the best in the world, you have average runners, you have all you guys, and you have track runners all using doubles to level up their performance. So if you're not using them, then you may want to consider at least plant the seed for your future may consist of them. Okay, the final part is what it does to you. There are three things that I believe doubles do to you as a person. The first one is it gets you to fall in love with you and the process of running and your relationship with running. Because if you run twice a day, your day revolves partially around this run. And you kind of like, you get your work, you get your relationship time, you get your family time, all this stuff. But the runs are kind of like these anchors. And we have to prioritize them because you're not going to run directly after a big dinner or anything. So you have to like kind of be mindful about when you're going to put the runs and it gets you to sort of fall in love with your life a little bit more because we hear about these habits that a person could do. You could wake up and journal or read, exercise, lift weights, meditate, practice gratitude, do your most important task first, um, whatever. These habits that we could do, practice the piano. And if we did them, our life would really become better, not because practicing piano makes you better, but the habit of showing up consistently makes you better at being able to achieve anything. It kind of changes your energy. So when you show up twice a day to run or, or even just more than you are now, even more, it pulls you into showing up more into your life. So falling in love is one of the keys here. Number two is it makes you healthier. How does it make you healthier? Well, it's kind of hard to eat sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit and then go out for a run. So you're more likely to have green juice or fruit or oatmeal or something that's lighter before you run. Because you know you're not going to feel good if you like have a couple shots of tequila and, a, and a, like a milkshake before you run. It's probably not going to work out. 
So you tend to take care of yourself before the run. And we tend to take care of ourselves a little bit after the run. Maybe we have a smoothie or a little massage or a cold plunge or at least a warm shower. We do something to take care of ourselves before, during, and after the run. So if you did that twice in a day, there's no room for like ridiculous nonsense food, is there? When are you going to eat that giant pizza if you have two runs in a day or three runs in a day? There's no room for it. Maybe after your last run, but I'll tell you, if you're running two or three times per day, after that last run, you don't want the huge pizza because you know you have to sleep in order to recover and wake up early and run the next day. And you know that that big pizza is going to impede your sleep. And maybe you're still going to feel it in the morning when you wake up and you get reflux and heartburn and things like this. So you also don't want to do it then. So there's even more power when you get into running three times per day. And that is, that's what Jerry Lindgren did. That's what um, Kelvin Kiptum does. That's somewhat what I've done. Uh, I don't do that often, but maybe every every two weeks or so, I've got a day where I'm running three times and it sort of allows you to uh, maximize your health. Okay, the final thing I'll say here before we're off is that it maximizes your time. Now you would think that running more would cost you time, but it does not. Because what I found is when you run more frequently, each run is relatively shorter. And so you can place them into your day during times when you wouldn't think you have time to run. Now, if you're between meetings or you're going to go pick the kids up or something like that, and you have 35 minutes until you pick them up, well, 35 minutes might not be enough time to go for your hour or hour and a half run and then shower and all that stuff. But if you're doing short runs, you can just go out for a 20 minute run and come back and then pick the kids up. And then when you come home, you got 40 minutes before dinner, you could go out for another 30 minute run dinner. And you can start to place these runs into all of these places where you otherwise would have been wasting time getting on on this thing, getting on whatever YouTube shorts. That's one that sometimes pulls me in that I don't prefer. Just wasting time derping. When you have a higher frequency of running, we look for the opportunities to take the small bits of time that we do have and maximize them. So if you want to embrace running more frequency, I give you permission to let yourself off the hook with having to do the workout Go to the gym. I got goosebumps here. I love this. <laughs> love it. Um, you're off the hook. You don't need to do a full workout because there's times where I've run three times in a day in the last couple of months where two of those runs were 25 or 30 minutes. And then one of those runs was maybe still 30 minutes, but maybe I finally get an hour, hour and a half later because that's all I had time for between calls. And I'll tell you, it feels really good. When I get to the end of my day, I feel productive. I feel fit. I feel like a badass. I feel like I didn't waste a moment of the day. So try doubles, try upping your frequency. Hope you really liked that video. Now, in the spirit of the holidays coming up, I'm gonna share with you how you can get a little something for yourself or a little something to give to one of the runners in your life. The Run Elite book is doing exceptionally well and if you already have it, thank you so much. But if you don't already have it, you may now wanna get a copy for yourself or gift one to a friend. And when you get your copy of Run Elite, Train and Think Like the Greatest Runners of All Time, then you will get a free pair of the number one running sock in the country, the Features Elite Sock. Now this is a $21 sock, so you actually get more than you pay for the book, <laughs> which is pretty cool. So when you get your copy of the book between November 9th and November 30th, you have to buy it between there. This is a promotion that we're running specifically for the holidays. When you buy your copy of the book, then you just send us an email uh, sharing with us that you got your copy and your address and we send you the pair of socks. Now you can keep the book and the socks for yourself. You can gift the book to one of your running friends and also gift them the free socks and it doubles your gift. Or if you like, you can gift the book and you can keep the socks for yourself. It's completely up to you, but you gotta get in before the end of the month and uh, directions to do so are below. Go ahead and grab your copy of the book and I know you're gonna love it. Give the love, spread the love. I love you. Thank you for being part of Runny Lee. I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.